Alright, so we're back with the only flight simulator where spiraling in an F-16 can make you go so fast that you launch yourself across the universe. It's YS Flight Simulator. Part 2 of an undisclosed amount of what we're calling the Beginner's Guide to YS Flight. We're going to continue where the first video in the series left off and keep exploring the ways you can improve your experience with the YS Flight Simulator. In this section, we'll be covering two of the most important aspects of them all. Learning how to install add-ons and getting into the multiplayer community. Ooh, people, scary, socialization, ah. Welcome to Hawkins Air National Airport. We hope that the sight of burn marks on the ground from crashed planes do not disturb you. Now, before I begin, there's two things I should probably say. Firstly, everything in this video series will be focused on the 2015 version of YS. Most servers still run on this version, since later releases have introduced various glitches that decrease performance. So just bear in mind, you might not be able to fly online if you don't have the right version. If you're looking for a place to download the 2015 version, there's a link in the down there part. No, actually, that's what Hawk wrote in the script, the down there part. I'm assuming he means the description, but I don't know, it's his script, not mine. Second, if there's anything covered in the video that you still don't quite get, or you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments. Alternatively, Hawk has a Discord server set up for this exact purpose. Again, link in the down there part. So let's begin, shall we? To whoever it was that parked a Kirov class battle cruiser on runway 08 right, please come and move your ship. This is an airport, not a dry dock. Let's start with add-ons. Pretty much every pilot in the online community makes use of these on a regular basis, and they can range from high detail airliners to a civilian aircraft, dedicated fighters, to stranger things that are just outright comedic and unrealistic. For your perusal, there's an entire spreadsheet containing almost every add-on ever made for YS Flight, linked down there in the description. Let's say you downloaded an aircraft add-on pack, like this one here by Hornet. There should be two folders inside, one named aircraft and the other named user. First, go to where YS Flight is installed. On Windows, this will be the directory currently shown on screen. Once you're there, drag and drop these two folders inside of the package into the game's directory. The folder named Aircraft should merge with the one that's already there, but since you've never installed an add-on before, the user folder will be created in the directory for the first time. Now most add-ons are pre-packaged with this method, but that's not always the case, especially with older packs. Every now and then you might come across one like this. <laughs> where the LST files that normally would be in the aircraft folder are not arranged as such in the package. A general rule for LST files. Air or aircraft in the name means that you go in the aircraft folder. Row or ground means that you go in the ground folder. And se or scenery files will go in the scenery folder. If you have YS Flight open while installing add-ons, you'll need to close and reopen it for the files to be loaded. After that, if this process was carried out correctly, there should be no error messages popping up when the client starts, and you should be able to select the new aircraft, maps, or whatever for a flight. From that point on, enjoy! How far can you travel from this airport, you may be wondering? To infinity, and beyond! Or to the edge of the map. Same thing here. Now let's move on to the multiplayer aspect of YS Flight. It may not be as bustling with activity as it once was, but the online community is still around, waiting for new flyers to join them in the skies. As mentioned before, unless a server is running on the custom YS console, you won't be able to open it without using the 2015 version of YS. So if you don't have that version, I do advise you to pause the video now and install it before we go on. Got it? Are you sure? Are you really sure? Okay, let's continue. On the main menu, click the Network tab on the top toolbar, and then Network Option. Here, you can preset what name you want to use in the multiplayer server so that you won't have to retype it every time. Just in case you were busy typing Sandwich Master 105 every time you gotta take a flight. Additionally, you can click Save Chat Log to have YS Flight automatically save a text copy of the chat in your server session. Once you're done here, click OK and then look again at the toolbar. Click yet again on Network, and this time Client. Here you can set up your name and enter the IP address of the server you want to join. Linked in the description is a list of servers that are currently active and their IP addresses. Type the address of the server that you want to join into the server host name box and click OK. Assuming both you and the server aren't offline, you should be in now. You'll be shown this screen, which looks a little bit like the Windows command prompt. You might be a little confused at why the join button won't let you fly, but don't worry. What's happening here is that the server is sending its list of add-ons to you and seeing which ones you have installed. Depending on how many add-ons are installed on the server, this process can take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes. 
Once this is done, it should say log on process completed. Now you can select your plane and starting position, and click join to launch. Alternatively, you can click observer mode to spectate what's happening, just like in the offline replay mode. To use the chat in either mode, press F12, and then enter to send your message, which should appear in the top left corner of your screen. To leave either your flight or the server as a whole, press escape twice. Attention all travelers, head sir, that is all. And this is only the beginning of getting into the online community. Head over to YS Flight Headquarters at YSFHQ.com and you can find the main hotspot for activity. It's home to a range of servers, players, and more add-ons than you'll ever know what to do with. YSFHQ is also the hub for many of the major organizations that fly in the game, including combat squadrons and civilian airlines. Much of the community is active on the YSFHQ Discord server. Some of the organizations that have their own servers alongside YSFHQ are the 2nd United Combat Wing, the 4th Aerial Wing, and the YS Thunderbirds Aerobatic Team. As for YS Flight Servers, HQ hosts its own server list, which keeps track of all online servers and how many people are in them at a time. All of this can easily be found in the left-hand sidebar of the YSFHQ forum. And that's it! The end of the video! You've hit it! Congratulations! You've gotten through the entire video! Again, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or head over to Hawk's Discord server for help. I won't be there, I'm busy probably watching Simpsons reruns or something, but, you know, gotta do what you gotta do. EVERYTHING'S F***ING WONDERFUL! Please refrain from using foul language in the concourses. After all, this is a family-friendly facility, rated E, for everyone's getting COVID-19. Until Hawk makes me do another one of these videos, and then I'll be back, and I'll sign back on. Sign back on to what? I don't know. When will it be? I don't know. What time is it right now? I don't know. What color is the sky? Blue. I do know that. That's an important one. What does this have to do with anything? I don't know.